So I've just got back from Coxcon 2018 and I wanted to create this video just to say how much I love the fact that events like this come over to the UK. It's not often that we get the American YouTubers such as Jesse come over here, so it's a great opportunity to go meet them. These guys look after us in the gaming industry world, uh, they teach us, they build communities with us, they entertain us. So I would go so far to say they are an admiration for us. They're, they're something that we look up to. And I just want to say to uh, Jesse and all the crew, first of all, thank you so much for coming over. Thank you for putting on events like this. And also, I, I, I definitely want to staple the point that this extends out to all the volunteers of CoxCon. You guys do an amazing job. And without you, I don't think it would succeed in the same way. So thank you so much for dedicating your time so people like me can come along and enjoy it. So those things out of the way, I feel like I just need to say also that uh, this year was only my second CoxCon. I went last year and again this year. So I've kind of seen a contrast of two very different CoxCons. Last year was absolutely insane. The uh, hype was there between the crowds. There was always massive things going on because there were so many big names there. You had TB, Dodger, Jesse, the entire co-optional. And um, I feel like as a side note, I just want to say that I'm so, I feel so kind of lucky or thankful, thankful is probably the better word, that I got to meet TB uh, last year. Um, I, I don't really know how to premise that any further, but please know that it's, it, it, I say it with a heavy heart that it, it, it it's going to absolutely suck that I won't get that opportunity again and so many other people may have missed it. Um, so then we move on to this year and there was probably only about half the people that attended this year, I would say, maybe from going, if you went, let me know in the comments below what you thought numbers wise, if you also went last year, but I, th I think it was probably roughly half. But it didn't seem to matter. The best thing about CoxCon for me isn't the panels, isn't the meets and greets with the YouTubers, it's the community of people that go. I was kind of taken aback last year on my first CoxCon with the diversity of the people that go. So this year when I kind of knew what to expect a bit more, knew how communities gathered together at CoxCon, I was prepared to go in and just chill out. I didn't go for the panels, I didn't go to meet Jesse, obviously those things were a bonus, but I just went to meet with fellow geeks, fellow community followers of Jesse and the likes. So yeah, I feel like I need to say just thank you so much to anyone that entertained me or humoured me or even just kind of talked to, me, talked to me and thought, please go away, even though you didn't actually say it. So <laughs> thank you very much for that. But I will say that if you, if you are thinking of going to CoxCon and you might be on your own and you have nobody to go with, just go. There's so many people there that go on their own and still find communities of people. Uh, for example, one of the people that I took up this year went last year on her own and, and now we're great friends. And there's so many other people, so many other stories that are so similar to this. I love the fact that during CoxCon, there can be a group of five people sitting around playing cards and you can just go up and to fill me in and they will. And you'll chat and you'll laugh and you'll have a great time. It did feel weird this year though, in the sense that everyone felt a bit more subdued. That's not to say that there wasn't pleasantries and everyone was nice and everyone was super friendly, but there wasn't the same kind of level of hype. And I don't really understand what that was. Obviously lots happened this year and I think the panel of people that did actually come probably, and I mean this to no offense to anybody that did attend, uh, but the panel probably wasn't as strong this year, probably affecting ticket sales and maybe uh, kind of lacking in the hype factor. But it, it only really affect, affected the floor. During during the panels, like the Scary Game Squad with the Ducks, it, it was brilliant. It was absolutely hilarious. I really enjoyed it, really had a great time. And if all the attendees that went are uh, getting constant Ducks quick noises in their ears two days on from the event, I'm right there with you. Yeah, that's happening. Uh, it also won't be a con if I didn't get a load of merch. So I'm, I'm quite happy that, I actually think, I, I just want to show this off really. The CoxCon t-shirt for this year, I'll just quickly throw it up like that. I really like it. I think it's really nice. So I'm quite looking forward to, to wearing that. 
And uh, in addition, I got this game. It's called The Chameleon. I don't know whether you actually, in real life, you really cannot see very well for the name of a book, but it should say The Chameleon. I don't know whether it will come up on the cam. Uh, and this is by Big Potato Games. And they were there. They had their own stall. And these guys, uh, they've, they've also made Bucket, Bucket of Doom, which I played a lot and really like. So again, um, to all the vendors that were there, thank you for your time. And actually, that once, uh, I, I just want to take a moment to call out to a game called uh, Just Shapes and Beats. There was a guy there, the developer, he's like the lead developer or, or partner in the company, and we got to play his game, and I played it twice because it was so damn good. I had to go back the next day and pretend that I was someone new and just wanted to give it a go again. I don't think you would have minded anyway. I'm pretty sure I spoke to someone that said they'd played it four times. But that game was insane. I think I might make a, a little panel of it somewhere. So look out for it. I haven't decided yet. But yeah, man, that game was wicked. So thank you very much to them. Uh, lastly, again, I, I, I think I just want to swing this back round uh, in terms of the community that go to Coxcon. Uh, as I say, if you've never been before and you maybe watched the stream this year, I heard there's 650,000 650, people watching at some point. That, that number may be a bit hit and miss. It was just community talking. Uh, so that's not factual basis, but I hear that that was the number of people viewing the opening ceremony. If you are one of those people and you are in the UK and you are thinking, I wish I went, I wish I went, I wish I went, I just wish I had someone to go with, just go. Next year's your opportunity. I tell you what, do it. Come seek me out. I'll make friends of you. There are loads of other people there that'll make friends of you. It will be a blast. So again, thank you very much, Jesse, for organising it. Thank you a tremendous amount to all the volunteers that made it happen. You guys are the life and soul of CoxCon, and I'm sure you've got um, enough praise from everywhere else. I hope you have anyway. I still don't think it'll be enough, though. Uh, and lastly, um, just as a personal note, I think I want to say this to um, Jesse directly. I am making this video now because of you and because of what you have done. You've given me given me the ambition. I know the quality is not that great at the moment. I'm aware of that, I'm gonna work on it, and it will be because of you. And I'm gonna to work towards making something of this. So thank you for the giving, giving me the ambition to do that. And I hope next year or the year after, I can look back on this video and think, man, I have come so far. So thank you all for watching, really appreciate it. If you have any questions about CoxCon 2018, maybe you weren't there and you have something uh, to ask, or maybe you're just thinking about coming next year, ask me in the comments below. I'll be sure to make an answer. Thank you to anyone that entertained me over the weekend or did come. Um, I really enjoyed mingling and chatting with all of you. Uh, to Davis, sorry for breaking you. It was probably going to happen. I think you brought it on yourself. See you later, guys. Until the next time, take care.